Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to learn about an ITO process. So an ITO process, as we have learned before, not really, but an ITO process is a stochastic process. But it's a different kind of stochastic process. Uh, so before we go into that details, let's learn. Like previously we said that we can find uh, the integral of a process x in terms of Riemann integral. But we also say, say, said that we, there are other techniques. And what are these other techniques? This is what takes us to our video today. Uh, we will consider an ITO process. An ITO process is a stochastic process that meets the following condition. So x of t, we say is an ITO process if it can be defined in this way. If you can write it in this way. So if you can write it in this way. So x of t is going to be defined as a ITO process, meaning that um, if x of 0 um, is a constant and uh, y of s and z of s, they are also stochastic processes, uh, then you can say that x of t is an ITO process. So long as x of t can be written in this form, that x of t, that stochastic process, it's going to be called, it's going to have a special name, which is going to be called an ITER process, right? So, as we have learned before in our first video, um, a geometric Brownian motion is also an ITER process, so is a, an arithmetic Brownian motion, but we will learn this in class, like as we have our actual lessons, uh, but that is the case, like an ITER process is a stochastic process. Um, Actually, and yeah, but that can be written in this way. So I just wanted to emphasize that an ITO process is a stochastic process that can be written in this way. Again, there are those conditions that I have spoken about that needs to be met, that it needs to be, it needs to adapt to the filtration and also more especially Z of X because it is the one which is influenced by the Brownian motion, right? Uh, that is being integrated in terms of the Brownian motion. So it needs to fit. Uh, and it, you know, like it needs to be a square, um, integrable, and uh, adapt to the filtration. Both of them needs to be integrable. They need to have a limit uh, of their integration. So, first for simplicity, we can remove the integrals. So if we do that, we need to differentiate on both sides. So we will have t. I'm sorry. Say because t. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's say x is going to be constant y t t t plus z t t w t. Okay, well, this is what we will call, um, this form is what we will call a stochastic uh, differential equation. You can see it is written in a differential equation form. But a stochastic differential equation form does not really exist. But we can write it in this way because it simplifies things for us. <coughs> so now, um, who have this been said? Now, suppose that, uh, again, we can try to simplify things further and see that um, we can write this ITO process or this stochastic process, which can be also called an ITO process in this way. We can just call it F of t w t right so if we want to simplify things further we can write it in this way because realize that we have like x over here and then we have y and then, then we have z but now if we write it in this way we can try to simplify it further right and then that's what happens here so if you have the function in this way so, and then you let your x be equal to that, then you are able to see that, uh, you are able to write it in this way. So, the x just go to the f. So, the f is fine. But in place of y, in place of y, where there is y, in place of y, this y, you can just write this whole thing over here. 
So f prime of 1 is just going to be the first derivative in terms of t. And f prime prime to 2 is just going to be the second derivative in terms of the prime motion. And you can also say that the, the z, this z over here, can be written in this way. It can be the first derivative in terms of, of the Brennan motion, as you can see over here. So now you are able to just write your differential equation form of your iter process in this way. And you can see now it is much more understandable. And side note, we are mostly interested uh, in this part, in the other part, in this in this part we want to find uh, that integral actually that is the integral that we are mostly interested in so okay I'm sorry about that so yeah let me see do I have see yeah so an item process to find uh, the solution of the integral we need to, so because it is written in this way so you have a function that is written in this way dx of t is going to be equals to um, y dyt dt plus z t d wt again you are interested in this part right uh, so you are going to introduce the integral on both sides so you are going to have the integral and then to solve for your thing and then to solve for this thing uh, once that happens, uh, you will be able to find your answer. And then you, you'll be able to use basic mathematics to find your answer. So let us look at one example. So, okay, example number one, let's say maybe this is your, okay, let's say this is your stochastic process. Um, which can be defined in that way. So you, first of all, you will need to find the first derivative in terms of t, and then you're going to find the first derivative in terms of the Brownian motion, and then you're going to find the second derivative in terms of the Brownian motion. So it's a partial derivative. So the first one, so yeah. So again, we say that we can write the answer in this way, but using that formula, we can write it in this way, like using the f's. So as you can see, it's just the f's where we found uh, the t and the t -t w t. So if that's the case, you substitute the answers that you got. So this one stays as, as, as it is. So you can know that this is the answer over here. Um, and then you're going to have uh, this one over here. And then you're going to have this one, uh, which is going to be just uh, those two. So you can, you can, you're going to have 0 plus half of 2, which is going to be 1. Hence, your answer is just going to be 1. Hence, your answer is just going to be 1. And then you're going to have this as well. So, this is after you have introduced the integrals. So, now, again, we say that we are mostly interested in this one. This is what we are mostly interested in. And then we're going to solve for the rest. So, we have solved for them, so they are fine. Now we're going to make this the subject of the formula. We're going to make this the subject. When this becomes the subject, we find this answer. Now, doesn't this answer look familiar? It looks exactly as the one that we have found using the Riemann integral. So th this is a nice thing about i to process. Like, they, there is not much pain here, except that you need to adapt to this process so when we are going to meet in class we will do these things in details we will do more examples we will um can you get more details and then you will understand it much better so this is the benefit of uh, having an it process or of writing your answer as an it process so basically if if you have a function or actually if you have a process that is an it process then you are able to solve it much better so in our ne next video, we will learn about terminal value problems. Again, if you haven't subscribed or if you don't have priority access or our student package, uh, I recommend you highly do. You can text me on this number uh, and then I will get back to you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy your day.